Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Uh, today I am going to teach the hospital mass system using WOP concept. There are many students who ask me to do the project using WOP concept. So let me do the step by step using the hospital management system small project. Right. So first what you are going to do is if you are not even install the MySQL work badge in your machine, you have to install the MySQL work badge. You have to go to the Google search, you have to type MySQL work patch download, you have to click on this link and go and download this one. So here the MySQL work patch, right? So you have to download and install your MySQL work patch in your machine, right? The MySQL work patch is must, okay, if you are configuring the database kind, okay? So you have to download and install your machine. After install the MySQL work patch, you have to see the MySQL work patch, you have to open like this. Okay, while you installing the MySQL work page, you have to configure the port and you have to give the user credential root and uh, I have gave the password root123. You can give the use root, uh, username and password whatever uh, you like, right? So after that, you can open up like this, right? After that, you have to, if you are not even download the NetBeans ID, you have to download the NetBeans ID. Go to the appropriate uh, website and you have to download them right this is the newest version if you want to go along with uh, go below version you can get here whatever version you need right there are here all the below version is there you will be able to download right according to your requirement right so you have to download and install your machine netbeans right this this these two softwares we needed in order to uh, work with the hospital management system after install the NetBeans, you can see the open the after install and open the NetBeans, you can see the uh, UI design look like this. Now, first, what you're going to do is I'm going to go to create a database. Right. Simply, I'm going to create the first hospital in hospital. Let's look at the notepad. We have a actors. What are the actors are there? Imagine you have a doctor one actor, patient is another actor, user is another actor. We have a, we have first, you have to create the three users, doctor, patient, and user, right? Okay, he is the system administrator, administrator, right? So here he can manage doctor and patient. Doctor shall be able to log in the system. Patient shall be able to log in the system. Uh, select the type, right? The user type. Okay, all the things we have can manage. So first, I'm going to go to create the table structure. So first, I'm going to create the doctor. Doctor table, we have an ID. Doctor has a specific ID. First name, doctor, first name. Last name is the doctor's last name. Email. And yeah, this is specialization. This is the must of the doctor. It's a specialization. Specialization. This is a must of the doctor. Specialization after the gender. These are the these are the attributes should they are in the doctor. If it's a patient, it's a patient. Patient, you can see here ID, first name, last name. You can give here first name, last name, ID, first name, last name. Uh, after that, we have to give the email after that you have to give the gender these are the attributes are there in the patient so we have a two tables we have created doctor table and patient table right so after that we have another table which is a user table right it's a user table so we use a table consists of these are the fields first one is a id the first name last name the same thing we need it. After that, we have a uh, another thing: email, user email and password. The password, right? The user table, right? User table. After that, we have another thing: is a uh, here we have wrote the role. Another thing is a role. Okay, it it may be a patient role or doctor role. Okay, this is the important stuff. These are the things we have to create it 
right so we have to create this road in our mysql workbench okay let me create step by step right so let's create the database let's create the database right so click on here here this here this one this plus symbol create a new schema click on this here i'm going to create the hospital which is a dc hospital right dc hospital aplo aplo hospital i have created the name as aplo hospital uh, just give the name right you can give whatever name APL hospital is my I just create the name okay app play this is a database I am going to create it right right click finish now database has been created successfully here this is a name right so database we have created right so after that we have we can see the database like Apple you can refresh it uh where's the database this is it okay it's created now the inside the database i'm going to create the table so select the database here go inside here the table right click new table so this is the table i'm going to create here we have we have created the table so this is the doctor table doctor table we have a first column is id this one i'm going to create as a auto generate part so you have to a watcher okay we have to select as a watcher you have to give as a 50 characters we no need to create the auto, or, or AI increment, okay? Auto generate increment. We have a primary key, we have nullable, you have set it. So we have to create the auto generate part. Auto generate, we have to create the uh, custom number. So using the custom number. Uh, imagine you have to create the ID also look like this form. Doctor T, we are like this, this form. That's very, this is very effective. If you are great like this okay first one second one is a first name this is how you have to give the first name also you have to create as a character you have to create 100 second last name 100 characters watcher 100 creators after that you have to create the another field which is a email you have to create the 100 this one email and the one is a doctor specialization this is specialization also you have to give as a hundred or to give the another field which is a gender right gender right these are the fields you have created now let's after done the all things you have to click apply now now we have a we have one table best table you have created successful which is a doctor table right we have to go and create the another table which is a user table so sorry patient table create new table you have a patient so your patient patient also consists of id it also the custom i i'm i'm i'm, I'm giving a custom number so you have right as it's it's look like this format p001 like this okay so this is the efficient way to increment the number so the second one is a patient first name first name you have to write the first name you have to his number you have to give the 50 characters it's enough for 50 let's give the 50 characters this is the name you have to give the 100 characters uh, third one is a last name last name you have to give the 100 characters last name also you have to give 100 characters last name first name last name uh not what other things are there in the patient we have discussed email and gender that that the things we know email this one says the e name email you have to give the watcher that out of that you have to give the end one is a gender okay if you want to the phone number and everything you can add it also right okay you can you will be able to add the phone number and everything okay so we have created only this these are the five attributes you have to add if you want to more you will be added 
right according to your uh, plan okay according to your custom plant requirements okay i have just the the explanation for your purpose we have created these these are the fields the additional field you can add this address phone number city country all things you will be able to add okay you can add it whatever field you need right okay according to the client requirements right now let's apply right so we have a second table has been created which is a patient table right i'm going to go to create this new table which is a user table user consists of two roles which is a one is a patient that's a doctor role. so the first one is a user id so user id also we have to get at all things are uh custom right second one is a user what are things you have created here you have to go to the look look at the documentation first name okay if you have forgot it you go to the look at the documentation you can you will be able to do it okay documentation is must you can't work without the documentation you have to work with the documentation then only you will be able to catch up last name so email third one is a email fourth one is a password password you generate the password after that you can generate the role it may be a okay it may be a uh, this one was a password field also you have to give the some hash password it's a long so we have to give we need a length right so email this role is also enough right these are the fields of the users right so let's click apply. right so you have created the database table successfully right these are the roles are there in the database right now what you're going to do is we have to open up the netbeans right i'm going to go to create a new project new project okay this option you have to select as it's default to come as java with maven you select as a java with n then only you go along with the swing application click java application next okay i'm going to create ap hello hospital If it is click main class default, you have to uncheck it and click finish. Right now, here you go, go to the source package inside here. You have to give, create the different packages. I'm going to create the different package. What are the different packages we have to create? Right, that is a must. Okay, they are uh, creating a different packages in order to work with the WP concept. Okay, in order to work with the WP concept, it is must. Right now, let's uh work it as a right so here you can see here this uh earlier we have did it first one is a you have to create the one is a package i'm going to create java package a dto you have to create a dto so data data try which nothing but the data transferring package third one second one i'm going to create a second package is a database so dealing with the database you have to get the database schema Third one, you have to create as an enumeration, enums, right? It is managed by the roles, okay? They are managed by the roles and everything, right? So third one, after the package, you have to create the util, a util package. You have to manage the util package, which is a the password, characters, all things you have to manage. Final one is a view. Here is a view. The design of, right? These are the, uh, three five different packages we have created right so you have understand that today today video we have understand that what are the things we have discussed about create the databases right we analyze what are the roles in our actors available in our system we have created the different tables and we have designed the packages in our next video continue of the uh, continue the video we will discuss about the trade database, this all the sections we have discussed about the things, right? Thank you for watching.